Feed.io tutorial. How to use Feed.io for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing a quick look at the Feed.io platform and how you can get started with this video editing tool. So let's get into it. Now, Feed.io is a great tool if you're looking for a relatively strong video editor online for free. You have a lot of different product use cases, so there is so much that you can do. There are so many pre-existing templates, and you guys can see not only do they have a video editor, but they also have a screen recorder and a subtitle and transcription service. So you can do all of these features all at once to create amazing, interesting, and collaborative videos. Plus, they have a lot of different social media related content uh, templates that you can use for your marketing, for your posts, as well as uh, a lot of picture in picture features like record and, you know, ed adding that recording to your videos as well. So it can be a great way for people that are just starting out with video editing to begin and to be able to, uh, you know, simply use it without having to purchase it or having to download heavy files or having to learn all of that difficult video editing uh, knowledge. And if we take a look at the pricing, they have a free version where you can get unlimited 720p export, but they do come with a watermark. If you want to remove the watermark from your videos, you have to go to their basic version starting at $12 a month, and uh, this will allow you to remove watermarks as well as export your videos in 1080p. Plus, you can also generate 720 minutes of subtitles, and these are automated subtitles. So you can choose to type them in manually, or they even have a service for you to automatically get them created. Then you have your pro version, which allows you to remove the watermark, have 1,440 minutes of subtitles as well as translation and export, library of stock audio, and AI editing tools like text-to-speech. Then there is the business version with 8,000 minutes of subs as well as custom templates and 4K video exports. So let's get started simply by going on to Vid.io or video, whatever you might want to call it. And once you click on uh, their homepage, just click on start for free. And you can sign up via your email address, but I already have signed up. So uh, you can just click on sign up on the top right. Click on sign up for Google or Facebook or your email, whatever you want. And we are just going to create our account. You can even use this even without creating an account. However, uh, it does not allow you to actually download your videos. So what you're going to do is we're just going to enter our basic information like this. And we're just going to click on continue over here to build our little workspace and I'll get started with the free version. You can also choose the premium version and get a 14 day free trial as well. Now, this is what your workspace is going to look like. Then on the left side, you have a navigation panel where you can browse different templates as well as view all of the videos that you have created. And you also have your brand kit. If you have the premium version, you can use a specific brand kit and create pre-existing templates that you can apply to all of your videos. If you are looking to build something like a aesthetic uh, on Instagram, then you can have a brand kit and you can apply that to all of your content to have a similar feel of um you know have a similar feel or vibe for your content now let's go into the template section and browse some of the different types of templates that they have first off they have a podcast template they have mock-up templates they also have sales templates marketing templates internal communication template hiring e-learning e training music social media news and media so let's say i want to search for something like instagram now, what this will allow me to do, it will show me a lot of templates that are in multiple different niches that are related to Instagram. You can also click on size and choose the size that you want. So let's say I only want templates that are in the portrait size. So now I can see a lot of different templates like this. So you guys can see there are a lot of different templates, but I think I want to create something like this. Maybe I want to create like an Instagram or TikTok about, you know, uh, weight loss or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this, click on start editing, and you can even change the uh, landscape or the size so you can make it portrait or you can create it in another form. 
Now, what this will allow you to do is that you can see on the bottom, you have the basic template that has all of the information like this. And if I just preview it, just to show you guys. So you guys, you can see that this is like the basic template, but let's get started with adding our own video. At the background, they also have music and I can choose how I want it to be loud. So I only want it to be 14% and I want it to be, or maybe even less, because I want it to be super, super faded in the background. And you can also choose to customize the speed. Now, the best part about this is that you can even take the audio out of your video and import that separately so you can sync it up. Uh, let's say the original video that you created, you're saying stuff, but it's not lining up with maybe your actions. Uh, for example, this often happens when you're creating cooking videos. So you can actually just click on your video over here and you can go into scroll down and you have your audio over here on the top. So you would simply click on detach audio and now my audio would be detached and it would be added to the bottom. So as you guys can see, this audio has now been added to the bottom. Now I can, uh, you know, continue on and, uh, you know, set it up, customize it, you know, cut any ums, ahs, or any breaks or pauses. I can cut those out and sync it up to how I like. So after that, if I was to show you guys another amazing feature, it is their media gallery. So not only can you upload your own files or use a mock-up image or, you know, stock media, that is not the only option. You can actually even go into uh, record over here and choose to record your camera, screen in camera, slides in camera, just slides, screens, or audio. And this can be a great way to create more interactive content, especially if you're trying to do something like reviews or um, reactions. This is a simple and easy to use platform to create that kind of content. Now, below that, we also have some stock footage. Now, we're not using that, but you do have access to quite a few different stock uh, effects as well as videos, audio, music, and some you know effects like pop sounds and computer click sounds. Then below that, you also have your basic audio. You can even click on voiceover to record a voiceover. For that, you just click on allow. And then you can allow it to record a voiceover. You can even split that as well as uh, download your uh, voiceover that you have created. And then as I was talking to you guys previously, their transcription function. So on the left side, you have your subtitles. So if you click on auto transcribe, it will automatically create transcription or subtitles for you. If you want to add your own subtitles, you can click on manual transcribe and you can add this to a specific audio, uh, to a specific video. So let's say I want to attach my subtitles to this video or a even better way, a far better way actually, is to actually take the audio that you're writing subtitles for, detach it from the video, and then add the subtitles in that. And if you're going to replace the video, uh, let's say it's something like a marketing video and it just has a voiceover, what you can do later on is that you can create a new video using that same audio, same subtitles with new fresh, you know, media content, replacing the video element of it. So that can be a great way to use your content multiple times, as well as the fact that you can upload your pre-existing subtitle file if you already have one. Now, if we go to the bottom, you have a transition section where you have a lot of different transitions available. So the transitions are pretty basic. There's not really nothing special that uh, can be done with transitions. It's just the way that they are. You can choose the speed as well as you know, apply no transitions if you don't want any in between your cuts. Now, next up, we have the element section, which is a pretty familiar section if you have used Canva. It basically has a bunch of different graphic design elements that you can add. So if I want a rainbow, I can choose when to add it like this at the bottom. And then we have the uh, appearance. So this is the, you know, rainbow and you can choose where, where you want it to be placed or how long in the video you want it to appear. So this is how you can get started with Vid.io. Once you have completed your video, all you have to do is click on done on the top right, click on export video, and you can simply uh, export this in 720p. And that is all you have to do to get started. You also have some social media sharing links uh, as well as a view only link that you can share with your peers to, uh, you know, for them to be able to view your content. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
and I will catch you guys in the next video.